Welcome! In this video, I will show you how simple and easy it is to connect Switchboard with your favorite live streaming encoder. If you know how to copy and paste, then you can connect Switchboard with most encoders. Just copy the server URL and stream key from your Switchboard account and paste them into the stream settings of your favorite encoder. Let's get started! Let me show you how easy it is to connect Switchboard with OBS. With OBS open, press Settings. Select Stream from the menu on the left. At the top right, press the down arrow to select Custom Service. Notice OBS has two fields, Server and Stream Key. We'll return to Switchboard and grab the streaming information. Directly below the Switchboard Confidence Monitor, Copy the server URL, return to OBS, and paste the server URL in the server field. Go back to Switchboard, copy the stream key, return to OBS, and paste the stream key into the OBS stream key field. Press Apply and OK. Now let's test the connection between OBS and Switchboard. Press the Start Streaming button on OBS. We have a successful connection. The video is showing on the Switchboard Confidence Monitor, and the streaming status has changed from red to green receiving. If I wanted to, I could go live to the destinations on this workflow simply by pressing Go Live next to each destination, or Bulk Select by pressing the check mark at the top of the destination group. Let me show you how easy it is to connect Switcher Studio with Switchboard. Open the web browser on a desktop computer. Log into Switcher Studio and navigate to the dashboard. Select platforms from the menu on the left. Press the Setup RTMP button. Next, we'll go back and forth between Switcher Studio and Switchboard as we copy and paste the server URL and stream key. Directly below the Switchboard Confidence Monitor, copy the server URL and paste it into Switcher Studio. Copy the stream key and paste it into Switcher Studio. Provide a nickname so that we'll be able to identify the destination within the Switcher Studio app. Press Save. Now I'll open the Switcher Studio app on my iPhone. Tap the Use as Switcher option. At the bottom of the screen, tap the square to open the Outputs Destination menu. Tap the blue arrow next to Custom RTMP. Tap to select the channel. A check mark will display next to the selection. Tap Done. Next, we'll test the connection between Switcher Studio and Switchboard. Press the red button to start streaming into Switchboard. Within a few seconds, we can see that we have a successful connection. The video is showing on the Switchboard Confidence Monitor. Streaming status has changed from red to green. Also, because I enabled the Switchboard Auto Start feature ahead of time, I've automatically started live streaming to the social channels in this group. Let me show you how easy it is to connect Minicam with Switchboard. Open Minicam on a computer. Press the blue Live Streaming button located directly below the Minicam stage. A new pop-up window will open. Press the Add Custom Server button. We'll go back and forth between Switchboard and Minicam as we copy and paste the server URL and stream key from Switchboard into Minicam. Copy the Switchboard server URL, paste it into Minicam. Copy the Switchboard stream key, paste it into Minicam. Give the destination a nickname. Press Create. Now let's test the connection between Minicam and Switchboard. 
In order to start streaming from Minicam, press the toggle button. If you hover over it, it shows start streaming. The toggle will change from gray to blue and the live stream timer will begin. Within a few seconds, we can see that we have a successful connection. The video is showing on the Switchboard Confidence Monitor. The streaming status has changed from not receiving to receiving. Also, because I enabled the Switchboard Auto Start feature ahead of time, I've automatically started live streaming to the social channels in this destination group. Let me show you how to connect AirMeet with Switchboard. Open a web browser and log into AirMeet. Select the AirMeet event where you want to stream out your sessions. Select Live Stream from the menu on the left. Select Custom RTMP. Next, we'll go back and forth between Switchboard and AirMe to copy and paste the server URL and stream key from Switchboard into AirMe. Directly below the Switchboard Confidence Monitor, copy the server URL, paste it into AirMe, copy the stream key, paste it into AirMe. Provide a website URL and a destination nickname. Press Save. Next, we'll need to assign the RTMP destination to an AirMeet session. Then we'll be ready to test the connection between AirMeet and Switchboard. Press Start AirMeet on the top right. Press Yes. A new browser tab will open. Next, press Go Back Stage. The stage is set up and we're ready to start the live broadcast. Press the green Start Session button at the top. Press Start Session again. After the 10 second countdown, AirMeet will go through its process to start live streaming. Hover over the live streaming icon and it shows that we are currently live. Let's take a look at Switchboard. We can see that we have a successful connection. The video was showing on the Switchboard Confidence Monitor and the streaming status shows receiving. Also, because I enabled the Switchboard Auto Start feature ahead of time, I've automatically started live streaming to the social channels in this destination group. You've just learned how simple and easy it is to connect Switchboard with any live streaming encoder. If you want to learn more, be sure to check out some of our other videos and step-by-step -step instructions in our Help Center. Thanks for watching and happy multi-streaming!